What's happening everybody? It's me the Bean and Astrid and you're watching Bean Screen TV. In this episode we go looking for free floating triple tails. Check it out. Alright folks, so it's almost that time of year. Not quite yet. We're going to check it out and see if we find a couple but it's almost summertime triple tailing these are not ones on buoys these are free floaters usually bigger fish uh, like I said it's still very early I don't like to do this until like later in May but we're gonna give it a go and scout it out and see if we can find some so this is one of your favorite things to do it's my absolute favorite thing to do. People ask me all the time, what's your favorite fish to target? And I always tell them, free floating triple tails in the summer. I didn't even know what a triple tail was until, not until I moved to Florida, but until I met him. Coming up, folks, if you want to do this this summer, May, June, July, August is phenomenal triple tailing. First one we saw of the year. These are free floaters, these are not ones on buoys. There he is. That's a uh, Owner Mewtwo Light 3 0. Yeah. So it felt great. I enjoyed every second of it. He is at. 17 and three quarters. So guess what folks? In less than a month from now, it's gotta be a keeper. There it goes. We are sight casting at them. Yes. Watching them eat, which is one of the coolest things ever. It's the best part about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh they're the best. Oh they're the best. Oh they're the beans favorite. They're the fave. I give that triple tail. Just back to back triple tails. Oh yeah. That's a good one there. For sure a good one. Make them zoom, go and get. They're just drifting and dreaming of a big fat shrimp to land in front of their face. So he's got a really special gift where he can see a triple tail like a mile away before anybody else can see them. But yet he opens the fridge and always asks where's the ketchup or the mustard and it's right in front of him. Yeah, I guess I'm uh, I'm farsighted, not nearsighted. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how I saw that. 
last one. I barely seen him. Yeah. I just barely saw him. And as soon as I landed, as soon as my bait landed there, he just got right up on his side. I don't even know how. Woo! Got the tarpon rod out too. Saw a couple tarpon roll right next to us. Oh man, it's about to feel like summer. He might be close to a keeper. But to see the sight bite and watch them eat and then just get tight on them, that is a super cool feeling. But it's very intense because you only get so many chances. And it's very intense because I tend to yell at people a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, do, I, I do yell at people a lot when they blow the cast. 16 and sure. 16 and a quarter. Oh, I barely, barely saw like a shadow of him, not laying on the side, but laying vertical on that lead. Really far cast. As soon as it landed, he just went, Ooh. ate it. While we were triple tailing, we heard some big jumps, some tarpon jumps. So I said, why not? We'll put a mullet on the tarpon rod back there. You never know. You get lucky. You never know. Yeah. Oh, he's getting it, he's getting it, he's so pissed off. Oh, he's getting it, I got all that. He's getting it, he's getting it, he's getting it. I see it. Right here with you, baby. Oh my god, he was not happy. Oh, he's scoped up, looking beautiful, as always. He's a bigger one of the two. Super light back on this one. Just put really that in the holder and forget about it. Oh my god. Twenty more is off. Nice Juan. Nice Juan. God, I love these owner Mewtwo Light 3-0s. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Look at that one. Woo wee. <laughs> go ahead, close your bill there. You know, that's one thing that's cool about triple tail is that um, a lot of them do jump. You know, they're they're sometimes very acrobatic. First keeper of 2022 for Astrid. Oh yeah, they're actually really delicious. People don't realize it's like hogfish or triple tail. It's like up there. This one is exactly over 18. So he's a nice. keeper. Yeah. Beautiful. He's a fat one too. He's, he's a serious tarpon on. Tarpon on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no! Oh my God. Just missed his tarpon bite while measuring that triple tail. Let's close the bail real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Big spinner. Big spinner. I think we had a tarpon bite and then the tarpon dropped it and the spinner picked it up. It's Air Jaws. It's Air Jaws. It's like Sharknado. It's Calls. a good name for them. Yeah, shark. Spinner Shark. Spinner Shark. I mean, they jump, they spin. It's my favorite shark to catch. <laughs> they just figured out where we're at. What do you think? When we're done with him, should we put the tarpon rods back out? Yeah. You never know. We already missed two tarpon bites. Spinner sharks, I mean, it's the coolest shark to catch. It's been out a little show for us. Aired out like five times. Gain down. <laughs> Gain. Yeah. Gain down. Gain. Rod to lighten up and gain down. You get that later. Spinner. There he goes. <laughs> 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 so
something to tug on the big ride while we got dinner. That's awesome. We got dinner. What was that? I think it was a tarpon. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. And then I caught this, what I thought was a nurse shark, but it just turned out to be like the laziest black tip. I've fought a couple of black tips before and it's usually pretty intense because they run, they'll take drag, and this one just kind of moseyed on up. He's like, what's up? Want to say hello? He's like, you Took know, his time. Let me get your mullet, let me go, and go back to doing what I do best, being a shark. But yeah. Until you touch them. You have to get a wrap, touch them. <laughs> Bye, shark. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, there he is, they're jumping today, they're jumping today. Oh my God, oh my God, he just spit the hook and it was beautiful. That is, honestly, it was really, really cool to see. You guys gotta calm down and go triple tailing with the bead because he is the best at it. Book me for a full day, you have to do a full day because it's far away, but I would love to take you fishing. All right, folks, well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned till next time. Till the next episode. Da 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 da. <laughs> it's the BM Astrid, yeah. In this episode, we go looking for free floating. <laughs> That's hard to say. They you're... usually flip out. Yeah, I fought a couple before, and they always peel drag, or you know, they're so they're blah. <laughs> hmm. I love it though. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, there he is! They're jumping today! They're jumping today! Oh my God! Oh my God! He just spit the hook, and it's beautiful. They're kind of ugly, but they're delicious. I don't think they're ugly. They're a little ugly. You're kind of cool. I'm I'm ugly, but I'm cool. <laughs> I like to think I'm, think I'm I like to think I'm a little cool.